Welcome back to another video. Hope you are having a great day. And today with the latest NAS unit from Link Plus. This is the N1 model and look at it. Looks really awesome with these LEDs right over here, indication LEDs here and a lot more that I will be sharing with you. This is the smallest NAS that we have seen here on the channel that has more than one storage unit. We have seen smallest ones, but with only one single SSD. Now, in terms of price point and for what it offers, link down below, check it out, and then get back and tell me what you think about it. But for what we have been seeing the latest in terms of this format all SSD, it is, in terms of price to what it offers, the best budget. That being said, let's take a closer look at it. Now, the operating system of this NAS unit is Unraid. And for those that are already familiar, you know what it is. For those that don't, I will leave here on timestamps a better understanding of what you will be able to find out. But if you are using your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer, don't forget to check out KeysFan, where you can find budget official OM keys at an affordable price and with a coupon code that you can see on screen and down below on the video description, it will get a bit cheaper. So just in case, the link will be down below just next to the Link Plus N. One. Now, this is the smallest NASH, as I've said, it has my palm and down below you will find all the specifications, measurements and whatnot. We can place it anywhere. In terms of design, what I do feel is that I could even put it on a bedroom just near to my head. Now, this takes me to something which is, it is quiet, but it has a small fan. So if I put it right over there, it will be okay. I will not listen to it. But if my, I put my head here, I will listen to the fan, which is cooling the SSDs, and it's necessary to have them cooled down. It has two 2.5-inch bays that we can use for hard drives or SSDs, and it has four bays for NVMe M.2 SSDs. In terms of placement, it's very easy. I did use one 2TB Toshiba mechanical hard drive and one 2TB S3 Plus SSD 2.5 inch. I did need to put in two screws, was the only thing that I didn't enjoy, but that was as easy as that. I also added four Sabrents each with two terabytes and VME SSDs. It has one 2.5 gigabit Ethernet port, two USB 3.2 10 gigabit ports, audio output, one HDMI, one front USB-C under the cover with LEDs, and it's equipped with an Intel Quad-Core 2 gigahertz CPU, 16 gigabytes of RAM, and also features Bluetooth and Wi-Fi 6. And yes, Wi-Fi 6, Bluetooth and HDMI. Now at this moment, if we connect the HDMI, we will have only the signal from Unraid, which we don't need because we will be using the network. And Wi-Fi, I don't see myself using a unrate system with Wi-Fi, but this is a computer. So down the road, later on, if you decide that in five or six years you don't want to use unrate anymore, you don't want to use it as an ash, you can repurpose and use it as a normal computer. So you will have HDMI 4K at 60 Hz, we will have audio output, we have USBs and we can use it with Windows or wherever we want an installation of Linux and not really sure what we are going to do with Windows and all these storage units but that's the possibility. Now once we install the drives which is very easy as we have seen we just need to plug it in and then uh, just go to the login screen and it's really easy. For those that have already used Unraid then this is familiar. For those that don't, don't get scared it's really easy as well. I did use five SSDs and one mechanical hard drive in this particular case. I did not use parity or redundancy and I did not use cache, but I will explain later on on a video why I did select that. Now, it was enough to assign each of the disks and then I did format it and started the array. After that, you can create folders so that we can share 
on the network and I also installed the community plugin for access to applications which is one of my favorite things on Unraid. And talking about Unraid, now let's dive in a little bit, just a little bit more. And now with Unraid inside the Link Plus N1 and we are here on the dashboard but this is not my favorite place on Unraid. This is my favorite place on Unraid. The ability to install any app that we want. A lot of apps. If we took a look at the category for backups, we will see that we have 88 pages. And if we want to install something like um, Assistant, we just need to search and there we go. Here it is. So we will have a lot of freedom. But this is not the only way to install apps and containers and we will check that in just a few moments now for those that already know unraid probably you can jump this chapter but for those that never had contact to unraid and while we are here with the link plus n1 nash we will take a look at some of the things and probably you will be curious enough either to get the n1 not only for your storage but also to install your apps or if you want to try it before on one older computer that you have at home, then probably this is a great introduction. Now, one of the first things that we can take a look here is that we have a basic license for the Link Plus N1. So if you are going to install this on any computer, you will need a license here. You already have a basic license that we can upgrade if we want, but I don't see the need for that. We also have the information about the motherboard and also the CPU and right over here, 16 gigabytes of RAM, which is, in my opinion, a good choice from Link Plus. Plus, we have seen some devices that come with 4 gigabytes of RAM, but this particular CPU only goes up to 16. So we can upgrade up to 16. In this particular case, Link Plus just placed in soldered RAM up to 16 gigabytes, and that's the maximum that we can go. So no need to upgrade. Then we also have the information about Docker containers, virtual machines in case we have, shares that I did already create and probably I've shared on the screen as well, and then parity, which I don't have at this moment, but I will explain why. And also the array is saying that I've got one disk with 53 celsius it's not that much and probably it's optimized for hard drives and not ssds which is what we are using but nonetheless it's giving this value right over here now if we go to the main tab we will see that i've got six drives but only five on the array so i did decide lastly that i would not use the toshiba hdd on the array because i have five ssds and one hdd that was the only reason i wanted to use it as parity but uh, it gave me an error right over here while i was configuring that i needed more than two terabytes so if you are going to use this system my suggestion would be five ssds for your storage needs and one hdd bigger capacity so if you have ssds of two terabytes i would select four terabytes or larger hdd to be your parity disk and i didn't create a cache as well because we are using ssd so in my opinion we will not require cache to speed up things and basically these were the options that i did decide for this test system right over here now i did already share as well about the shares where we can just create more shares and it's just easy as going to create share and then select the name and so on and so forth one of the things that i do consider important not only only on unraid but any system that allow us to do that is to select the disk that we want to create this share. Let's imagine that I want a share called music and I want to place in my music library on a SSD that I know exactly which one it is. So I just need to select that disk and bam, there we go. This happens also on other systems where we select systems that will allow us to do this single disk and similar uh, setups like that and this might be useful now in terms of users we already created one so that will be enough so that we don't need to use the root user in terms of settings it's the normal settings from unraid i'm not going to bore you with this right over here but we have the system network user preferences and then user utilities plugins i already installed the community applications plugin we can Put in more but this one i do believe that it's the one that you will be using to install your services and then we also have docker now docker is something that's on any system that allow us to 
have will give us unlimited almost freedom to install anything and if we explore docker containers on docker hub we will have a lot to choose from so we can see that at this moment i believe that is 10,000 results so this is one of the things that i love but with unraid one of the advantages is that probably we will not need now we also have the vms right over here virtual machines but the apps which is what I did share with you at the beginning is the thing that I do prefer because we can have a lot and we will see right over here on each of these categories, downloaders and game servers and home automation, which is my favorite one. We will have everything that we require just at a press of a button. So I do believe that Link Plus did a great choice right over here, selecting Unraid, unlike other systems that we see on NAS units that we utilize. And then finally, we also have tools right over here with diagnostics and all sorts of things that we can use on our system and to check out if everything is okay or not and then some shortcuts right over here so hopefully for those that never used on raid you could get a small taste and hopefully it will help you to decide if the link plus n1 is the one for you or if you want to try this first on your computer with a demo version which i believe that will give us 30 days to use before we need a license for those that already knew then hopefully you jumped this chapter i did use four sabrants same model and brand but they were giving me an error that some of them would not show and i was doing mix and match and i did not figure out what it was so probably some compatibility issue i did end up with two models of uh, sabrance also i will leave links down below also a rocket q and a s3 plus which is a gaming ssd but with those four it's just working great so probably some compatibility issues that link plus will be able to fix in future firmware updates now in conclusion if you ask me hey robert do you think that this is a good purchase i do believe that yes we just need to figure out what we want now if we want a small unit with a lot of space for storage six ssds or two of them can be hard drives mechanical hard drives then this might be a great option if you are looking to put in home assistant hard guard and a lot of applications without having to spend time and we just need to press a button and that is it now personally unraid is not my favorite system of sharing files but the truth is that it works great and if we work with parity or redundancy we will have all the files backed up and with six slots we will have the space for that along with the great system and with a lot of support and when we need something we just go to the web and we will find the solution for that so in this particular case unraid is just awesome along with the unit i do believe that link plus did some great choices right over here but you let me know down below in the comment section if you think that this machine is the one that is suited for you are you thinking about building a nash unit yourself let me know down below hope that the video was helpful in some way and if it was don't forget that usual thumbs up right over there which is really appreciated on this side of the screen my name is roberto george and as always i'll see you on the next one